In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create a unique paintbrush transition. Hi, my name is Manuel. I'm a freelance motion designer, bringing you fresh animation and motion design tutorials every week. To follow along, you might want to download the project file. Alright, let's get started. This is a brush stroke I vectorized in Illustrator. Then selected all paths, copied and pasted them into this solid here in After Effects. Let's name the solid brush 1. My comp is 1920 by 1080 pixels, by the way, frame rate doesn't really matter. Next, we duplicate the solid and name it Matte Brush 1. Open the mask property and select the mask which forms the big shape. We want to delete all masks except this one. We search for it in the long list. Here it is. Press Command A to select all masks and while holding Command, click on the mask we want to keep to deselect it and delete. Next, we clean up the mask a little, get rid of all the points, except the ones on the left side and two on the right side, and create a shape that basically covers the whole brush stroke. Now let's animate the reveal of the brush stroke. We set a keyframe for the mask path at 4 frames, then go back to 0 frames and move the left part to the right until the stroke completely disappears. Then we add easy ease in to both keyframes. Finally, we go to the track matte menu and make matte brush 1 the alpha matte of brush 1. Instead of just blending it in or using a simple linear transition, we use this mask for a nice and detailed reveal of the stroke. Next, we switch on continuously rasterize for both layers. This allows us to scale the solids up without losing quality. Then we grab the parent pick whip of the matte layer and drop it onto the brush layer. Now we just need to select the brush layer, scale it up and position it on the top third of the screen and the matte layer follows automatically as it is linked to the brush layer. Maybe reduce the height a bit. Next we duplicate the two layers, set the rotation to 180 degrees and move them somewhere to the middle part of our screen. Remember we only need to select the brush 2 layer, the matte layer follows. Then we duplicate the two brush 1 layers one more time and move them to the lower part of the screen. Let's find a nice position there. We want some black holes in here, nobody paints that accurate, right? And details make the transition more interesting. Now let's move the brush 2 and 3 layers 4 and 8 frames to the left in the timeline. We want the strokes to be revealed one after the other. Awesome! Next we select the brush stroke comp in our project window and drag it onto the comp icon here which automatically creates a new comp and adds the brush stroke comp to it. Let's name the new comp transition. Then we add some footage to the timeline. We want the cut to be at 12 frames, so we add the second footage file at 12 frames in the timeline. We duplicate the brush stroke comp in the project window and add it to the timeline exactly above the second footage file. The brush stroke free comp is the luma mat of our second footage file. Alpha mat would be fine as well. Nice reveal. We need to clean up that dirt. That's why we go into the brush stroke 3 comp by double clicking on it in the timeline. Let's add two guides. First we need to make the rulers visible and place them where the stroke borders kind of meet each other. And add another white solid, command Y. Then we use the rectangle tool to add three masks. Let's set the shapes right. They follow the reveal of the brush strokes just two frames later. Two frames in, we set a keyframe for the upper mask being right off the screen. Then two frames after the stroke is completely revealed, we set another keyframe for the mask, now covering the whole stroke. Same for the other two masks. Awesome, all cleaned up. One last thing. We need to add some detail and texture to the brush stroke to make it look really nice. We select the brush stroke comb and add turbulent noise. The settings are up to personal taste. I chose fractal type swirly, noise type spline, invert, contrast 30, transform, let's deselect here from scaling, scale width 600, scale height 8, complexity 6. Now we've generated these nice lines, which make it look much more like real paint. Let's add a tiny little bit of color though, with the tritone effect. Highlights in this case white, midtones a very bright blue, and shadows. There's probably no shade as our contrast is really low, a darker blue. I would choose colors that are related to the footage, which connects the two layers a bit better. Also, big shout out to Unsplash, an amazing resource for free to use pictures. I've put a link in the description. How about you take over from here and try all kinds of variations of that transition? On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching, hope that tutorial was useful for y'all. See you next time guys, bye!